Hello, Web3 TV friends. I'm Lisa Amdengard, and I'm at the Binance Blockchain Week 2024. And with me today, joining me today, is Jacket Stuvinsky. Did I say it right? The you almost got it. First almost. time. Amazing. And you are the CMO of Solar Enterprises. Of Solar Enterprises, that's correct. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. And how has the day been so far? Hectic stressful but i would say the the curve is only going up and i'm actually close to the very very top because in less than an hour i'm speaking at the innovation stage about decoding community needs in blockchain so it's a very interesting day very stimulating and uh can you share a little bit about what topics or what you what message you want to convey in an hour's time in an hour's time if there's one message i would like to convey is for blockchain projects not to just listen to what people say they want, but try to empathize more, look at people closer, and find out what they actually do and they, what they actually need. I will be sharing a couple of stories, mm -hmm. psychological principles, because I'm a psychologist by education. So, you know, I'm trying to share some insights. How can you increase your value? How can you create innovations? Not by just listening to people but watching them mm. observing gaining insight into what they really need and why do you think that's important uh, for me as a psychologist it's important because there is a chasm there's a huge gap between what we think we want and what we actually need that's one of the insights i shared yesterday humans are just terrible in predicting what will make them happy what will make them sad? You know, I'll be happy if I make a million dollars. No, you won't. So we can we never have, know. We... It's a human inability to predict our own psychological future. So this is where observation, I can see what you said you wanted, but according to my knowledge, insight, your usage patterns, it might seem that you may need something else that you say you want, than you yeah, say you want. I guess it's important to talk about those, have those conversations. And... I think it's very important not too much about myself, but my background is 23 years in traditional marketing. So, you know, focus groups, yeah, consumer yeah. research, big campaigns, advertising agencies, videos and blah, blah, blah. In Web3, marketing is something completely different. But I think the psychology and psychological principles remain the same. And I think this is fascinating. Yeah, okay. If we can still teach humans. this in Web3, yeah. then we can boost the whole category. We can, I mean, I'm doing this for all of us. And when we talk about solar enterprises, can you tell us about what is the vision? What is your mission for the company? It's very simple. We're called Solar. So our mission is to make everything brighter. I like we that. are working on a brighter blockchain, more transparent, more community focused, more circular, more giving back. Brighter blockchain solutions, something that keeps, helps you spend brighter. The solar card, something that makes mm. you surf brighter, our brighter VPN service. Something that makes you game brighter because we have our own launcher. So we, we have one overarching mission and we're doing everything to make blockchain and blockchain solutions brighter and more appealing to the regular to the normal people. We still call them normal people, right? Yeah, and um, when it comes to blockchain and AI, it's used sometimes interchangeably. So how are you in implementing AI in, for example, the, the debit, the, so the solar, solar debit card? card? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, we're not implementing yet, but we use it massively for creating, analyzing our products, analyzing consumer insights, you know, reaching to the super brain for advice and this has proven true Yay. Yeah. sorry uh, we can take that should we take that no no again? no it was live it's what this is what's happening right if you don't mind guys i don't not at all okay yeah you can uh, so let's go back so, to the, so question. the question so when it comes to blockchain and ai uh, how how are you implementing ai into blockchain i think there is a trick to that because you can implement a large language model or a chat window into your project and this is not really applying AI. We are analyzing, we're working actually with more advanced AI focused companies companies mm. to try to employ large language models and machine learning into analyzing our transactions, analyzing 
exactly where we started from. How people use the blockchain, what is the transaction mm -hmm. volume, where is it coming from, what are the geographies, and then AI can help us. So far, it helps me greatly to create content, get new ideas, question stereotypes, and yeah, I'm friends with ChatGPT. <laughs> Um, and uh, so what are you, so this event is all about momentum. That's the key word for the event. Uh, what are you most excited for in the future of this industry? Or just in, in a I year's time? I am the most on? excited in blockchain becoming a consumer technology. An underlying technology that empowers people, even though they don't need to know that. Empowers people. It empowers people because you, you can do more, but if we just focus on saying, telling people that it's self-sovereign and you can trade and you can become a millionaire, you know, it's exactly, people say what they want, but what actually happens are rug pulls, scams, and you know, yeah. it's, it's not getting too bright over there. But, you know, for lack of better example, I don't know, blockchain is like fuel, and what we are trying to do is to build a motorbike, a car, a plane, a boat, powered by this blockchain, but not just to focus on trading fuel, no, or, you exactly, know, partnering yeah. one gas station with another gas station, right? Yeah. This is the metaphor I love the most. So, applicability, you would say. Equitability? Applicability. A and applicability, Applicability. Yes. But equitability, I, I, I misheard. <laughs> but yeah, we want to we still we are one of the ones who believe that blockchain can empower people take down certain barriers i'll be talking about that as well there are certain countries where blockchain based technologies are totally awesome they're amazing and they can empower people underbanked unbanked underdeveloped unemployed there's so, so many applications so for many applications for this technology but anyways, uh, I know that you probably want to prepare for... I don't want to look at my <laughs> clock watch, but yes, I probably have I to. I just want to thank you so much for speaking with us. And thank you. I'm looking forward to listening to you on stage. So Please do. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you so much. And um, uh, Web3TV friends, we will be interviewing more people. So make sure to stay tuned. We have more interviews coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you very much. Thanks.